Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I'm here today in one of the most interesting new additions to uh, Jerusalem and to the Old City specifically, and that's the Armenian Museum, which is located inside the Armenian Convent, which is a historical building with a lot of interesting uh, facts about it itself. This museum is uh, quite new. It's been open for a little over a month here. The Armenian Quarter is one of the delights of the Old City, but if you've walked by it a lot of times, you've seen the Armenian restaurants, you've seen the ceramic shops, but if you've ever wondered why Armenians are in Jerusalem, and in fact, why they've been here for so long, the Armenian community has had a presence in this city since the seventh century. If you have those questions, like I've had those questions recently, the place to learn the answers is absolutely this new museum. Admission is 25 shekels for adults, which is a really, really good price. And you see the exhibit spread over two floors. On the first floor, it uh, tells a story of how the Armenian community has existed in the city alongside the various groups that have come through Jerusalem. Something I find really interesting is that the Armenians signed ferments, which were sort of um, agreements between the peoples that came through Jerusalem, including the Prophet Muhammad, and also with the Mamluks, ensuring their status as a uh, religious minority, as a, as a form of, uh, of Christianity. Their survival in Jerusalem over the ages has largely been sort of a wall within a wall, within the ancient walls of the old city the Armenians built um, another wall to preserve uh, their unique culture. The first floor uh, tells the story of the evolution of the Armenian people through different parts of the world, including here. And the second floor is dedicated to telling the very tragic story of the Armenian genocide. There are original murals up here depicting uh, that, uh, the awful killings, and as well the interesting story of how the survivors of that historical wrong came to Jerusalem overland via Turkey and they integrated themselves into the Armenian community, the very ancient Armenian community that was here but that was largely a clerical community of uh, clerics basically and how they had to rehabilitate themselves both in terms of taking care of practical measures like the supply of medicine uh, but also how, to, how they had to emotionally rehabilitate themselves from the horrors that they had witnessed and uh, go on to make a new life in Israel, Palestine and the Holy Land as, as you wish to call it. Um, another interesting thing that I thought there are, there, is Arme there are Armenians in other parts of this land. There are some Armenians in Haifa, in Bethlehem and in Ramallah, but the biggest community of Armenians is right here in Jerusalem. So if you're curious to learn more about the history of the Armenian people, specifically the Armenians in Jerusalem, then this uh, new museum is absolutely worth it. I encourage you to take a full hour to really go through the different periods on show here, and it's a rich experience, especially for uh, history buffs.